After moving out of our house and moving in with my mom in preparations to move up to the property, we basically took all my tools and everything that I didn't need and put it in storage. For the last year, I've wanted to get my batteries and my solar panels up here to the property. By having the solar panels here on property, I can figure out how big the three mounts that I'm gonna use will need to be. I have a total of 28 solar panels and 16 batteries. This will work out to be somewhere around a seven kilowatt system. These batteries are what they call an L16 battery made by US Battery. My panels are 275 watt Suniva solar panels. I have 28 solar panels, but I figured I would do three solar panel mounts holding nine panels each. Now that I have them up to the property, I can measure them out and figure out exactly what I need. The ground mounts will end up being somewhere around 16 feet by a little over nine feet. It's a little bit big, but now I know what I'm working with and I can build it accordingly. Each one of these panels weighs about 55 pounds, so I've got to build a mount that will support it. I've also got to take into consideration the wind, the snow load, things like that. But just having everything up here at our property is a big step in the right direction. Now there's not too many things that I'm not willing to do. But I'll tell you what, if I move one more trailer load of my stuff somewhere other than my permanent housing, I'm gonna lose my mind. I hate moving. The one thing that Cedar's really good at is cleaning and organizing. I asked her and the kids to come up and help me get the trailer unloaded, get things organized, and get the place cleaned up a little bit. For the last four days, yeah. I've really thoroughly been cleaning the place sure. and trying to put the tools in the right place. Cedar. Cedar jumped in and did the organizing that she's so good at while the kids just had a little bit of fun. Take him down to the creek and let him fill his belly with Kelly tried water. to take Ruger on a little walk, but he wanted to be close to me. Watch out for those little baby calves, though they might have fun with you. You show them who's the boss, honey. Cedar made the comment a couple of different times. By me. If we had running water, if we had a hot shower, we could make this work. He knows who he belongs to. Come on, Shay. Come on, Cheyenne, it's not that hard. You know how many times I've climbed that? Climbed? Sitting, Climb up. No. Don't fall. What's the matter, Reed? Huh? You handling it, buddy? Uh -huh. You getting it handled? Yeah. What are you super dirty of? Huh? What are you super dirty from? Cheyenne? Cheyenne? Close the front gates, please. Thank you. You're the best. Shani or Calmay, are you getting bucked off? How come you're not taking all this stuff inside and putting it away?
Reed. Pop. You've been here for 20 minutes and you look like that. Dad, come on, it's been an hour. Where's the... Push He's down. Pumping. Push down He's hard. Pumping. There you go. Don't get him wet. The turkeys are right there. No, I don't want Ruger to go mess with them. We like the turkeys. Yeah, we also like Thanksgiving. That's a month and a half away. Let's just move here. It's strong. Yeah. It's okay. Like you could rough, rough it like this. No running water, no nothing. For like a week. This is, this is how you're doing dishes and laundry every night? Yes. Hey, excuse me. All my junk out here in the front yard? Yep. You're not, you're not going to look the way you look right now, living up here, I promise you that much. You're not going to let me shower? Oh, different kind of shower, I suppose. Wash my hair once again. I'll just wear a hat. Just do a pony and a hat. Bonnet. Cal? And I think that's why they wore um, aprons and bonnets, right? Yeah, uh, Cal, I think you're fighting a losing battle there, honey, trying to wash your feet off when all the mud's just splattering right back on you. Whose idea was it to look at my white shirts here? Yeah, who cares? I'm going to have fun. It's always dirty. Hey, Reed. Maybe let's, maybe let's not do that. I know, I've seen you twice. You fall down that, son, we're probably gonna have to take you to the hospital. One last time, go. Come on, you big sissy, go. What are you scared of? <laughs> yeah, I bet your booty's a little sore, huh? Ooh. Not. Oh crap! <laughs> you alright? Oh. Ah. Ew! He just sneezed on the way! Ew! 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 Slobber! <laughs> Even though you did, I still love you. Hey, Reedy. You want me to go throw you in the creek and give you a bath real quick? Yeah. Dude, look at that kid. Reed looks like he looks like he tried to climb up the side of a hill or something. That's because you've been working so hard. He means playing so hard. Not work. We were playing with the wheelbarrow. Uh, he would stand it and I would like go up and down, like make it bumpy, and he would fall out. Oh, make make me one, Shane. I want to be famous. <laughs> 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 hey, boys! <laughs> 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 You hear a plum? Did you find one straggler? Got one. Found one, huh? The sounds of red poppy in the night. I've still got tools scattered around the place that I've got to figure out where to put them but I can cross a couple things off the list. The downstairs is cleaned up and the storage unit is empty.